as they head to Oxnard for basically a month, a really long remote training camp here, but one that they're optimistic is going to pay dividends for them down the line. Ian, uh, C.D. Lamb certainly has been a headliner throughout this offseason. We have spoken a great deal about him. And now we at least know what he's doing or not doing for the early stages of training camp. C.D. Lamb officially a holdout. All of his teammates uh, flew to Oxnard, or some in the case of Dak Prescott, drove to Oxnard. C.D. Lamb not among them, not showing up at training camp, just like he did for minicamp. And there's a clear way to show a team that you are not happy with your contractual situation and you mean business. It is to not show up to training camp and incur the fines and everything that comes with it. The media firestorm, everything from the fans, all of that. CD Lamb is doing all of it. So where are we with the CD Lamb contract situation? Now, we did get some clarity with the Justin Jefferson contract situation. It's clear where the highest paid receiver is. Four years, $35 million per year. Cowboys know that. The market is very clear. It's unclear right now if CD Lamb is fighting to be the highest paid or whether he wants to be just under. And there's so much here. It's not just is he the highest paid. It's also term. We saw Jefferson do a four-year deal. Cowboys sometimes like longer deals. Where does that fit in with what CD Lamb wants? There's so much here, but this we know. The Cowboys have faced many high-profile holdouts from Zeke Elliott and most recently Zach Martin. Eventually, deals have got done. C.D. Lamb, the Cowboys, and the fans hope that is eventually the case with this one as well.